Hey, today I've got a uh, 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sport Unlimited four-door with the 3.6 liter V6 and the six-speed manual transmission. Got towed in, no start. So first thing I do is I got a test light underneath the car, had somebody crank it over to see if we were getting the proper power to the starter, and we were not. So basically we were not getting the start signal down to the starter. So after pulling my hair out, looking around, looking around, uh, I found another video on the internet that says from like 07 to 08, but this is a 2013. It would be nice if they t would tell you this. When you turn the key on in these things, see the red light here above the temperature gauge? That is the security light. And on this car here, did you notice how when I turned the key on, let's do it again. When I turn the key on, it must read the key and the light comes on and then goes off and then the car will start so if you have a Jeep that won't start won't crank won't start and that red light is on here let me show you a quick fix on what to do to fix it so let's walk over to the integrated control module which is the fuse box you want to pull out that 20 amp fuse right there between the relay and the 60 amp fuse that is the that is called the m13 fuse which is the iod Fuse right there. I don't know if you can read that number. Uh, where am I on the wrong one? Yeah, M13. M13. Where is the uh, wrong section? M13 right there. It says M13 20 amp IOD CCN. WCW siren check. Pull that fuse out for 30 seconds, put it back in, and then that should reset the computer enough to let the Jeep start. And it did, it did on this one. I don't know what the proper fix is, but that's definitely going to fix this one for now so the guy can drive it. Thanks for watching.